of the female gametophyte or embryo sac. Development of the female gametophyte or embryo sac. The megaspore is the initial cell to development of the female gametophyte. Megaspore. Development of the female gametophyte or embryo sac. <coughs> megaspore is the initial cell for the development of the female gametophyte or embryo sac. Which one, ma? Megaspore is the initial cell for the development of female gametophyte or embryo sac. Yes. If we take the megaspore, <coughs> which megaspore? Functional megaspore. Yes. So, for example, this is the functional megaspore. During the development of the embryo sac, the nucleus of the functional megaspore undergo free nuclear division. As a result, it can develop into <coughs> two nucleate embryo sac. So, when it undergo free nuclear division, as a result, it can produce two nuclei. So these two nuclei move towards opposite poles, here one and here one. <coughs> so as a result, it can develop into two nucleate embryo sac. Two nucleate embryo sac. Then this two nucleate embryo sac undergo so two more sequential free nuclear mitotic divisions as a result it can develop into 8 nucleate embryo sac see how it develop into 8 nucleate embryo sac 2 nucleate embryo sac once again undergo free nuclear division as a result it can develop into 4 nucleate embryo sac and this 4 nucleate embryo sac once again undergo one more free nuclear division as a result, it can develop into 8 nucleate embryo sac. But here, the interesting fact that up to completion of the nuclear divisions, there is no cytokinesis. Up to completion of nuclear divisions, there is no cytokinesis. Yes, after formation of the 8 nucleate embryo sac, so 4 nuclei are present towards the chalazal end. And the remaining four nucleus are present towards a micropylar end. How many more? Four nucleus are present towards the chalazal end, and the remaining four nucleus are present towards a micropylar end. Yes. Now, each nuclei, so from chalazal end one nuclei, and from micropylar end one nuclei move towards their respective opposite poles. That means one nuclei move towards this side and another nuclei move towards this side and they form a central cell or secondary polar nuclei. See, this is embryo sac. One, two, three, and here one, two, three. Then, so see here, one nuclei from micropolar end and another nuclei from chalazal end move towards their respective opposite poles and they fuse at the center as a result they form which one more? central cell central cell or secondary polar nuclei what is the another name for this secondary polar nuclei yes up to completion of all these process there is no cytokinesis up to completion of all this process there is no cytokinesis after formation of after completion of free nuclear division now the three nucleus are presented towards the chalazal end and the remaining three nucleus are presented towards the micropylar end now it will start to cytokinesis now it will start to form cytokinesis as a result these three nuclei are developed into antipodal cells and these three nuclei are developed into egg operators. See. Three nuclei are surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm or cytokinesis will complete. As a result, it will develop into antipodals. And this is a central cell. 
and here these two are synergies and this one is a egg and synergies and egg together called egg operators egg operators and the photos egg operators so shall we discuss process now of the female gametophyte or embryo sac so the megaspore is the initial cell or first cell or initial cell for the development of the female gametophyte the nucleus of the functional megaspore undergo free nuclear mitotic division as a result it can develop into two nucleate embryo sac this two nucleate embryo sac once again undergo uh, successive free nuclear divisions as a result it can develop into eight nucleate embryo sac see two nucleate embryo sac and this two nucleate embryo sac undergo so <coughs> free nuclear division as a result it can develop into four nucleate embryo sac four nucleate embryo sac and this four nucleate embryo sac once again undergo free nuclear division as a result it can develop into eight nucleate embryo sac and up to completion of successive free nuclear divisions there is no cytokinesis so now after completion of the successive free nuclear division so Four nucleus are present towards the micropylar end, and the remaining four nucleus are present towards the chalazal end. Now, so from each pole, one nucleus move towards their respective opposite pole. They fuse at the center. As a result, they form secondary polar nuclei or central cell. So, after that, the nucleus which are present towards the chalazal end, they can develop into antipodals, and the nucleus which are present towards the micropylar end, they can develop into so egg operators the egg operators consist of two synergies and one egg cell and then central cell but in majority of the angiosperms the mature embryo sac contains seven cells and eight nuclei in majority of the angiosperms the mature embryo sac contain how many cells and how many nuclei ma seven cells eight nuclei So now types of embryo sac. <coughs> there are three types of embryo sac. One is monosporic embryo sac. So the second one is bisporic embryo sac. And the third one is a tetrasporic embryo sac. So, how many types of embryo sacs are there? Must there are three types of embryo sac: monosporic embryo sac, bisporic embryo sac, and tetrasporic embryo sac. Now, the first one is a monosporic embryo sac. Yes, if you take the monosporic embryo sac, this type of embryo sac contains seven cells and eight nuclei. Seven cells and eight. It develops from a single <coughs> mega. It develops from a single megaspore nuclei. It develops from. It develops from single nuclei of megaspore. Example for this: Plumbago. Polygonum. So, a majority of the angiosperms of polygonum type of embryo sacs are present. So, monosporic embryo sac. The monosporic embryo sac contains seven cells and eight nuclei. It is developed from the single nuclei of megaspore. Example for this: plumbago and polygonum. Now, the second one is a bisporic embryo sac. This bisporic embryo sac also contains seven cells. Eight nuclei. It develops from the two megaspores. It develops from two 
two minus four. Example for this uh, allium species. Now the third one is a tetrasporic embryo sac. This embryo sac also contain or this type of embryo sac also contain seven cells, eight nuclei. Seven cells and eight nuclei. It develops from four megaspores. It develops from four megaspores. The nucleus are four different types. The nucleus are four different. Four different nucleus are present. Example for this: <coughs> fertile area, peperomia. So, fertile area and the peperomia. <coughs> so, these are the types of embryo sac. So, now structure of embryo sac are female gametophyte. Yes, if we take the structure of embryo sac are female gametophyte, a typical angiospermic embryo sac or female gametophyte mainly consists of three parts. The first one is <coughs> egg operators. Antipodals and central cell. So, which one? Egg operators. Second one is a and central cell and antipodals. If you take the egg operators. <coughs> So, egg operators consist of two types of cells. So, one is the synergies and another one is the egg cell. Egg cell is also called a female gamete. Here, my question is: egg cell is female gamete, but why embryo sac is called as a female gametophyte? That means gametes containing plant body is called a gametophyte, but it contains Egg, egg is nothing but a female gamete, hence it is called a female gametophyte. So why we are calling embryo sac is also called a female gametophyte because it contains female gamete. Which one? Egg. Egg is a female gamete. So, so gametes containing plant body is called gametophyte, but this gametophyte contains egg right now or female gamete, hence it is called a female gametophyte. I hope you are clear. So why they gave the name female gametophyte? I hope you are clear. Which one, ma? So the gametes containing plant body is called gametophyte, but this one, which one? Embryo sac contain female gamete, hence this is called female gametophyte. Yes. So female gametophyte is nothing but embryo sac. It contain which one, ma? Female gamete. What is that one? Egg. Right now. So but in case of egg, the nucleus is present at the base and the vacuoles are present. At uh, above the nucleus, yes. So <coughs> it also contain two vegetative cells. Those are nothing but uh, synergies. But uh, here inside the synergies, so two finger-like projections are present. Those are called uh, filiform operators. See, if you take the synergies, these two lateral cells are nothing but uh, synergies. Uh, but inside the synergies, the special thickenings or finger-like projections are present. Those are called uh, filiform operators. But my question: What is the use of this filiform operators, or what are the functions of the filiform operators? If we take the filiform operators, this filiform operators guide the pollen tube towards embryo sac by secreting chemical substance or chemotrophic substances. That is the first function, and moreover, it also absorb the nutrients, or it also provide the nutrients. How it provide the nutrients? So after fertilization, endosperm will form. But so from where endosperm absorb the nutrients? Yes. So the endosperm receive the nutrients from the new cells with the help of filiform operators. Right now, so these filiform operators are useful for the transportation of nutrients from new cells to embryo sac. That is the another function of embryo sac. Now central cell. 
how this central cell is formed see so fusion of two polar nuclei see previously we discussed during the development of the embryo sac so four nucleus are present towards chalazal and the remaining four nucleus are present towards micropylar end from each pole one nuclei move towards their respective opposite poles and they fuse at the center as a result they can produce the central cell r polar nuclei now the third one so the third one is antipodals yes so the antipodals are developed at the chalazal end right now the antipodals are also called vegetative cells of the embryo sac what is the another name of this antipodals ma antipodals are also called the vegetative cells of embryo sac antipodals are also called the vegetative cells of embryo sac so the antipodals may degenerate before or after fertilization okay sir antipodals will degenerate and what about egg we know after fertilization egg can develop into zygote right now or sigmoid so what about these uh, synergids sir so the synergids also degenerate one of the synergids cell degenerate during the entry of the pollen tube into the embryo sac and another synergids will degenerate after entry of the pollen tube this is about structure of embryo sac but my question so see this is the typical angiospermic embryo sac it contain how many cells and how many nuclei ma so eight nuclei how 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right now 6 7 8 nuclei how many eight nuclei but how many cells seven cells how 1 2 3 right now this entire is one cell 4 5 6 7 that's what seven cells eight nuclei and one more question from my side the embryo sac is haploid or diploid so if it is haploid so which cells are haploid any diploid cells are there yes except the central cell in embryo sac all are haploid except the central cell in embryo sac all are haploid yes so because again and again so together 2n which one ma so diploid central cell is 2n but remaining all are this is n and this is n and this is n but this there is no fusion in antipodals and there is no fusion in egg operators only in central cell two polar nuclei are fused as a result they produce secondary polar nuclei or central cell except the central cell all are haploid in embryo sac this is the structure of embryo sac and the functions of filiform operators